Hello, hello. Hello, Eduardo. How are you? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you, my dear students? It is a pleasure to have you here. It is a great, great pleasure to be with you once again. I am very happy to see everybody here and everybody back. We are going to work today on the topic that we were studying yesterday, right? We started yesterday working about the professions and the occupations. So we are going to continue the topic in the class. So tell me, we're going to start by remembering for sure the agreements of our classes, right? I am going to share my screen with everybody. Hello, Gustavo. Hello, Eduardo. Hello, Elmer. And hello, Ivan. Welcome to the class. We are going to start just by uh, remembering the agreements of our class. Remember, practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. I really appreciate it. And attend your sessions of, on time. Sorry that I took a minute to enter. Uh, participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. And for sure, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. That is really important. Now, tell me a little bit of what did we study in the previous class? What do you remember from yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday? Aha, todos los agarran curva. ¿Qué hicimos anoche? Dormir. <laughs> in class, in class, in class, no details, in class. <laughs> what did you do yesterday? Huh? Vamos a ver, le vamos a dar un punto al que se acuerde. Y... <laughs> People, what did we study yesterday? We studied about the professions. Ajá, uh -huh, we studied about uh, the professions. Specifically. We... Specifically, I don't remember. Uh... Doctor. For example, engineer. Okay, we started about the different professions, doctors, engineers. Uh -huh. But what did we study yesterday specifically? We studied a topic that was uh, like the starting point of the professions and occupations. Three very important things. What do you do? What do you do? Where do you work? And what was the other question? What do you like? How do you like it? I, how do you like it? How do you like it? Very good job. Excellent. You see? Vamos a dar un puntito aquí a mi amigo. Punto. Ta-da. There you go. Punto para Angélica. <laughs> There you go. Hagámoslo más grande porque sí se acordó. Punto para Angélica. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Yesterday we started about uh, the different questions that you use with the professions and occupations, right? What do you do? Where do you work? How do you like it? And we were talking about a conversation. Who remembers the conversation? Ah, omnipresente los tengo solo en cuerpo aquí, no. Do you remember the conversation? Practice the conversation, uh, manager in a hotel. Ajá, uh -huh. well, about the manager in the hotel. But what was the situation in the conversation? He um, don't like the work, the he, job. He didn't like the job, but he didn't like... Not the job, he didn't like the manager, the manager right? The manager. And who was who was the manager? The brother of the of very good. The manager was the brother of the other lady, right? And that was the problem. Very excellent thing. Let me see. 
We were talking about the jobs that you like, that you love, and that you hate, right? The job that you like is the one that you have right now. The job that you love is the one that you dream about. And the job that you hate is one that you will never prefer. Do you remember information from your friends? ¿Se recuerdan de la información de sus amigos acerca de su trabajo soñado, el trabajo que odiaban, el trabajo que tenían? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Tell me one example. Salvador, say uh -huh. military. Excellent. Salvador mm -hmm. wants to be a military and not a normal military. <laughs> right? General. He wants to be a oh. general, right? <laughs> at the aeronautics or something like that. I mean, he, he was there. And what is Salvador's job right now? A bartender. He's a bartender. Very good. Uh -huh. Ahorita les estoy probando la memoria todo. Mañana va a ser peor las preguntas. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> <laughs> Cerebrofos, come on. <laughs> and Cerebrofos is not giving me any money for this. Sopita and, de pescado. <laughs> morita, morita su. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So what is that? No, there was something like very horrible that we used to drink when we were children. Ay, hígado de bacalao. <laughs> horrible, horrible. <laughs> or maybe some chocolate pick up here for you to remember that. Good. So, do you remember about any other person? What is Angelica's job? Uh huh. One dollar, if you remember. <laughs> One dollar. He's a manager. He's a manager. Uh -huh. Aha, <laughs> human resource manager. Yeah, very good. There you go. I was. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. There's your dollar. <laughs> I have a solution for everything. Good. Very good. Let me see. What is Gustavo's dream job? Ni yo me acuerdo. Ya ven, por eso no me enamoro yo mismo. Electrician, electrician, engineer. No. No. I wanted to be a doctor, right? He wanted to be a doctor, an eye doctor, right? And Elmer, what was Elmer's dream job? Mm -hmm. Elmer wants to be a astronaut. No. No. A, a general doctor. Ah, sorry. A general doctor, right? Elmer. Yeah. 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 And what is his what is his profession right now? Uh, a critic guard. He's a security guard. He's a no, he's a bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, he's a bodyguard, uh -huh. right? He's a bodyguard, like this. Presidential. <laughs> he's a presidential bodyguard. <laughs> so if it, if it is a presidential bodyguard, it's not like this, right? Ah, como cancelaron la cadena, por eso está aquí, vea. Por eso la canceló. No, 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 no. Elmer tiene clase. Me cancelan la cadena. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> There you go. Good, good job. <laughs> With that, very good. Yeah, for sure. It's like, hey, hey, cadena, yo tengo clase. Ah, pues, se cancela la cadena. <laughs> very good job. So, teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Cadena Nacional in English is uh, National Chains. Well, chains, yeah. chains. <laughs> national Chains. Uh, <laughs> Well, that, that can be called a presidential transmission or a presidential message. Yeah, it is not like chain there. It's like a presidential message or a presidential transmission in that case. Because the only person who can give a cadena nacional, it's the president. Who can say like, se detiene todo. And there you go. Run to Netflix because everything stops. <laughs> yes. So yeah, that's the only one. Presidential transmission can be or a presidential message. And there you have there for the Cadena Nacional. 
Okay, so yesterday we were practicing the three different questions. What is his profession? Where does he work? And what does he do, right? And we were also talking about the different places where people work, right? In an office, in a hospital, in a store, in a school, etc. We also work in uh, the conversation for the different uh, situations that you might like your job or not. And this was the last thing we did, the questions, right? The questions about the jobs. And I ask you if you like your job or not. Um, and some of you tell me, yeah, it's okay. I remember uh, Mr. Gerard was mentioning that he is the manager of the gym and he loves it. He likes it a lot, right? It's good. It was like, mm, I like it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Ay, Don Gerardo, tengo siete meses aquí, no rebajo. Pues sí, pero viene un día, niña, al mes. <laughs> That's <a problem. laughs> Those are the problems of the manager in, in the gym. So that's what we were working on yesterday. And we, are, we were also practicing a little bit of pronunciation with the questions. So in this case, uh, you have pronunciation like, where do you work? Where do you work, right? Where do you work? Where do you work? And you join the do you. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do, right? And the next ones are where do they work and what do they do, right? Do they? You join it, right? What do they? What does he? What does he? And what do you? Siempre esas dos palabras van como unidas. No decimos, eh, where do you work? No, right? You say, where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? And what do they do? Can you practice the pronunciation with me, please? The first one, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Where does he work? Where does, does he work? work? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? 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 It is curious, like what do they do? <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> and it is nice. Uh, something important when you are learning English is that you don't have to be afraid of opening and articulating your mouth. Que no le dé pena articular, abrir la boca al momento de hablar. ¿Por qué? Porque el español es bien lineal. Ustedes a veces ni abren la boca para decir una frase. En español decimos, sí, te vi ayer en metro, sí, ahí andabas, pasaste la permilla. And you don't articulate. But in English, you say, yes, I saw you yesterday at Metro Centro, but you didn't talk to me. You passed in front of me, but you didn't speak to me. Right? It was like the intonation of the words. So in this one, you say, where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? Okay, very good job on the pronunciation. You have very good pronunciation, students, and that's very nice. I have here some practice for the questions. And in these ones, we need to be very careful on the answers that we have so we know what type of question we are going to create. In this one, we have, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse, right? Here you have a profession. And for sure, on the question, you need what? In this one, you say, it's difficult, but she loves it. What type of question do you need? What does she do? It? What does your brother do? It's difficult, but she loves it. Si andamos buscando una manera, una respuesta de cómo se siente, what type of question how do does, you need? How, how does she? How does she? 
Like, does she like it? Very good. How does she like it? How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Right? It's difficult, but she loves it. Here, we are going to have the three other conversations. We have conversation two, conversation three, and conversation four. Okay. I need, let me see, I have here connected 14 students. Let me just make it bigger. Pay attention to the number that you are going to work. Here I have, Mr. Gustavo, work on number two. Work on number two. Elmer, number three. Ivan, number four. Gerard, number two. Angelica, number three. Rodrigo, number four. Luis, number two. Eduardo, number three. Salvador, number four. Mario, number two. Adiel, number three. Marvin, number four. And Carla, number two. Okay? Create the conversations. Go ahead. Trabaja en esa conversación la que le tocó. Write it on your notebook. Escríbala en su cuaderno. Para que no se equivoque. Go ahead. Write it on your notebook. When you finish, let me know. Cuando finalice, cuando ya la tenga lista, puede levantar la manita en la plataforma para saber que ya termina. Lean primero la respuesta para saber cuál es la pregunta que necesitan. Okay, Luis already finished. Very good. Ahí dejen la levantadita. When I have the first three, very good. Angelica finished. Good. Okay, I have two students that are already finished. Try to do it in the way you think it's correct, okay? Si se equivocan, it's okay. Thank you, Mario, very good. Thank you, Elmer, Marvin, very good. Thank you, thank you. I have many hands up, that's very good. I have five hands up. Good. 
Good, Gustavo, excellent. One more and we start the answers. One more student and we start with the answers. Todos sintiendo el estrés de si la hice bien, la hice mal, me toca. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's start with Luis. Luis, can you give me your conversation, please? Mr. Luis, Mr. Luis. Okay, hear there me. There you go. <laughs> yes, I can hear you now. The first. Uh... Where does mm -hmm. you brother work? Uh -huh. At the airport, he's a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Excellent job. Very good job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Luis. Very good job. Angelica. How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? In an office in the city. In an office in the city. Very good job, Angelica. Fantastic. Mario, go ahead. Conversion two. Go ahead. What, does, what does your brother do? At the airport, he's a pilot. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Continue, continue. How does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Okay. In the first in the first sentence, it says at the airport. Tenemos un lugar. It says where. Where does your brother work? Where? Okay. At the airport. Change that one, please. Cambiale ahí, Mario. It's not. Uh, a, yeah. Yeah. Where? It is. Mm -hmm. It is where. Okay. Yes. Good. So, thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. That's why we are here. We're practicing and learning. Very good job. Mr. Elmer, go ahead. How do your parents like their job? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember where do they work? In office in the city. Very good. The only thing that we need to change is the pronunciation of the word parents. Parents, parents. Okay, it's parents, right? Parents. Not parents, no, parents. Okay. Very good, thank you. Hey, you survived, very nice. Let's continue with Marvin. Uh, conversation number four. Uh, what do you do? I am a student. I see. How do you like your class? They're good. I like them a lot. Very good job, Marvin. Fantastic conversation. Mr. Gustavo, go ahead. The number two. Go ahead. Uh, where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh, what, what does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Okay, what does he like it or how does he like it? Uh, the, the, correct, uh, the correct answer is how. How, okay? okay, because you are looking for a form, a manner, how. Como le gusta, okay. lo disfruta, right? How does he like it? Uh, he doesn't really like it. You can use what if you say, what do you like the most? Si ustedes me preguntan a mí, what do you like the most about being a teacher? I can say, when you talk to people, attending people, helping students, ¿qué es lo que más le gusta? What okay. do you like the most? But if you say, how do you like your job? That's it's good. in general, it's, it's in all general. the job. Okay. Yes, it's like. It what for something specific. specific. Exactly okay. like that. Very okay. good. Thank you, Gustavo. And let's see, Mr. Gerard, go ahead. Conversation number two. Where doesn't your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh, how doesn't he like it? 
He like it. Uh, he doesn't really I like it. He doesn't really like it. But on the question, like. you say, how, uh, sorry, where does your brother work? Okay, where does? Eh, where las preguntas, does? no podemos poner doesn't, porque no puede ser negativa. Where does your brother work? Okay. And how does he like it? Very good. And the final uh, person, Salvador, go ahead. Mr. Salvador, uh, go ahead. Uh, what do you, I am a student. Uh -huh. I see. I see, do you, your class, they're good, I like them a lot. Okay, very good. What do you do? What do you do? I am a student. I see. How do you like your classes? They are good. Okay. I like them a lot. Okay, okay. So in this case, we have, what does your sister do? My sister is a nurse, right? And the question here is how, how? does she like it, right? And in this one, where? right this is for you to check only right where does your brother work yeah. at the airport he's a pilot and who? how does he like how? it how does he like it he doesn't really like it in this one mm -hmm. is how how do your parents like their jobs or i guess they like them i don't remember what do they do oh sorry 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 it's where <laughs> where do they work where do they work in an office in the city and the last one is what, what do they do what do you what do you do what do you do i am a student i see oh. now do you like, like your classes? classes? They are good. I like them a lot. If I ask you, how do you like your classes, students? I hate it, teacher. Mm -hmm. How do you like your English classes? Control de calidad. Uh -huh. How do you like your English classes? I like them a lot. I like them a lot, you say. I like it. I like it. Just because I am here. Uh -huh. Imagine if I am not here. <laughs> Uh -huh. How do you like your classes, students? <laughs> I like it. It's funny. <laughs> they are funny. But the thing Very is that funny. if you are learning or not, that's what matters, right? Are you learning? Si están aprendiendo o no, ahí está. Yes. Okay, I am learning. And that's, that's important. Okay. Si están aprendiendo, ahí sí me gusta. Y si ya se divierten, eso es un extra. Here, here we go. We are going to use adjectives that can describe the jobs. If you describe the different jobs that you uh, have been talking about, we can say that most of them are, and we have here the different adjectives that can describe it. We have dangerous, dangerous. interesting, stressful, well paid, exciting, difficult, challenging, rewarding, demanding, lonely, repetitive, mechanical, important, practical, convenient, and fantastic. If you can describe your job with one word, which one would you choose? Okay. Uh -huh. If you can describe your job with one word, which one will it be? For example, if you tell me, I will say that my job is demanding, but fantastic. How is your job? ¿Cómo es su trabajo? ¿Qué adjetivo le pondría? 
is interesting uh, and fantastic. In my case, uh -huh. important. Important. Yes. Another one. My job is. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead Marvin. Okay. Okay. Uh, my job is interesting and practical. Interesting and practical. Gustavo? I think my job is demanding and how do you say the last rewarding? Rewarding. Rewarding, rewarding yes. is que te llena mucho el, el, el okay. hecho de ser gratificante. Ser gratificante. No. Exactly okay. like that. And a lonely, what significa? <laughs> Lonely. Lonely. If you work at home, for example. Sorry? If you work at home on uh, your own in an office. Okay. Lonely. Or Lonely. if you work, for example, in an office, but without any other people. Oh, okay. uh, solitario. <laughs> <laughs> Alone, right? It's a lonely job. It's like me right now. Me and right well now. paid. Well paid. It has a lot of money. Okay. okay. <laughs> ching ching. Okay. Ching ching. <laughs> well paid. Like the doctor yesterday. You were talking about the doctors yesterday. <laughs> well paid. The plastic surgeon. Well paid. All right. Good. Okay. Mechanical is that you have to know a process and that's it, right? If you know the process, you survive. And um, well, in the case of dangerous, it is like, for example, the job of a police officer, that's dangerous, right? Because you can die at any moment. Uh, interesting is that you are always reinventing that you are always looking for Innovative. things. Innovating, exciting. A stressful, I think all the jobs are stressful. Exciting is that you really love and you expect the moment of going to your job, right? Imagine the tour guides que andan que en la playa, que en la montaña, que no sé dónde. So that's exciting. I, I would love it to do it, right? Difficult. Uh, like the job of the high school teachers, los maestros de bachillerato, that's a difficult job. It's like, no, un lugar al que no volvería. <laughs> that's a very difficult job. High school uh, teachers, and also the job of a doctor, it's difficult because the life of a person depends on you. And if the person, it's your fault, right? Challenging is like a, an English teaching job. That it's a challenge for me to make you speak every single day, but it's rewarding, right? When I see you advancing, demanding. Imagine the job of the, how can I say? The person who takes the agenda of the president. Okay. It's a demanding okay. job. Demanding. Imagine. It's like, a quien se le olvidó. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's it, right? <laughs> Repetitive is that you do the same, the same, the same, the same every day. It's kind of boring. Oh, that, that can be another, that can be another uh, definition. Boring. Right? A boring Bore. job. Bore. Bore. Boring. It's like, hush. I will write it here. A boring job. Bore. Boring. It's like, uh, yeah, good morning. Hi, I'm Natalie. What can I help you? It's like, it's boring. For example, a call center uh, agent. <laughs> Imagine if you are doing the same thing all the day. Like, good morning. This is Natalie. How can I help you? 
Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Good morning. This is Natalie. How can I help you? Okay. Thank you very much. Good morning. This is Natalie. How can I help you? No. At the end of the night, imagine. Cuando sale a comprar el pan en la noche. Buenos días, soy Natalie. Me da un dólar de pan, por favor. Gracias. Well, sleeping. Good morning. My name is Natalie. How can I help you? Yeah, it's no. No, 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 no. That, that would be a boring job. But some people like it. Hay gente que le gusta y lo disfruta. So it depends on the person. It depends on the person. Imagine that the person, uh, a person that checks the tickets in the parking lot, el que revisa los tickets en un parque, that would be like, good, good, good. That would be boring for me. Very boring. Imagine the poor accountants y los contadores, factura, tra factura, tra factura, tra factura, tra factura. Repetitive, mechanical, it, and boring. It, exactly. <laughs> so those are the different adjectives that you can use when you talk about a job. If you if you think about um, a flight attendant, a flight attendant, una aeromosa, how can you describe her job? It's very stressful. Very stressful. stressful. What else? Challenging. 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 What else? Do you it think it's be, exciting? Maybe dangerous too. Maybe dangerous. Okay. Interesting. Good. Well paid. Well paid, right? It's well paid well because paid. they earn a lot of money. And it's practical, it's convenient. I think it's fantastic because you travel a lot. But it's kind of lonely because you don't have your family with you. You are alone in all the different countries. You are alone. So that can be kind of a sad and kind of boring because you are from airport to airport, right? But if you think about the job of, a, a, let's see, a dog trainer, the person who trains the dogs. How do you right. think that job yes, is? It's very dangerous. It's dangerous, it's dangerous. right? <laughs> Imagine a, an angry caser. Stressful. A stressful. Yeah. <laughs> what about the job of a nurse? Un enfermero. Depending. Depending. <laughs> Demanding. Demanding. <laughs> Depending, they say. And it's like. <laughs> hey, <it's> like, <laughs> Hi. Mm. No. We cannot we cannot help. Bye. <laughs> that, that can be a, a, well a good nurse job. It's demanding. It's stressful. stressful. It's important. Código uh rojo. -huh. In some cases, it might be boring, right? Teacher. Rewarding. Rewarding, yes. Excuse me. Uh, I think the all words are, are boring at 2 p.m. because <laughs> give to sleep. Yeah. After lunch. <laughs> <laughs> After lunch, it's you want to sleep. Coffee. It's a time for coffee, definitely. It's a time for coffee. Do you like coffee? Oh, I like. Yes, do, I like. You, do you like coffee? Like yes. So like if you start feeling <laughs> sleepy, go and get some coffee. Good, Angelica. Well, I only go to the work if I feel like I'm going to Casi como medio quedando con sueño, aunque no tengo tiempo de que me dé sueño. <risa> eh, es que me levanto y voy a caminar y hacer algo más, algo diferente. Porque a veces si está en la misma rutina, es que le da sueño. Así que si siente que se está quedando dormido, levántese y vaya a hacer otra cosa. Sí. Pero si se queda ahí. <risa> y si lo cachan dormido, pues cuando se levante, dígale. 
Amén. <laughs> I was praying, you see. <laughs> And that's what you do, right? It's like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Soluciones prácticas a la vida moderna. No, I'm kidding. No, don't fall asleep on your job, people. Work, work, and work. There are many people looking for a job. Hay muchos que desean un trabajo. So, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Let's continue. So, if you want to form phrases by uh, the use of adjectives, here I have some examples. Here we can form phrases with the verb to be and an adjective and the adjective plus a noun. So how do you do it? A firefighter's job is dangerous, right? In this case, what you need to use is the possessive form that mentions that is the job of a firefighter, el trabajo de un bombero, right? El trabajo de un doctor. And that's why you use the possessive. This possessive is not the verb to be because the verb to be is here, right? Is dangerous, is stressful, right? In this one, solo mostramos la posesión de quién es el trabajo del bombero y de quién es el trabajo del doctor. And in this one, you don't use the possessive. It says like, a firefighter has a dangerous job. In this case, you use the adjective and the noun at the end, okay? A firefighter has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. And if you use it like this, with first the verb to be and then the adjective, you have to use the possessive case here. So use your profession and create one sentence with any of the adjectives. Usen su profesión con cualquiera de estas dos estructuras y creen una oración. We are going to use the different adjectives that we have here. For example, I can say, a teacher has a fantastic job. And I have it. Use your profession, one adjective and one structure. You can write it down. And I am going to write them here. Uh -huh. Give me one example. De las dos maneras. Only one. You can choose one of the two. A manager's job is interesting. Okay. A manager's job is interesting. I am going to send it on the chat, right? A manager's job is interesting. Good. Another one. Me teacher. Go. A bodyguard's job is a it's dangerous. A bodyguard's job. Is dangerous. Okay, a bodyguard's job is dangerous. Good, very good. A bodyguard's job is dangerous. Another one. Me. Cool. Uh, auditor jobs is important. An auditor's job. Is important. Very good. An auditor's job is important. Very good. Yes, it is indeed. You are the most important. An en auditor's oración, job. En la segunda oración, siempre tiene que ser has. Yes, because you are referring to the uh, possession, but in a different way. Ahí en este caso decimos, imagínense que aquí decimos. Eh, a un manager bombero, has a job. Okay, a manager has a, boring a, a manager job. has a boring job okay so in this case you have a manager's job is interesting el trabajo de un manager es, es interesante el trabajo de un gerente es interesante pero en la segunda decimos un gerente tiene un trabajo aburrido okay you no. use the have and has with the tiene right Okay. Y arriba, el trabajo es interesante. Yes, yes that's the difference. That's the difference. Very good. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Another example. Mm -hmm. 
teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, secretary has a fantastic job. A secretary, secretary. has a fantastic job. Yeah. Very good. A secretary has a fantastic job. Very good. Another example. In the case of a salesperson, Gustavo? Um, a salesperson has a... I don't know what, what are the other phrases? The, the adjectives. The adjectives. A salesperson has a challenging job. Challenging job. Challenging job. Okay, a salesperson has a challenging job. Definitely, definitely. What about a psychologist or a human resources uh, manager? A uh, human resources manager has a rewarding job. Very good. Because you have to train all the personnel, right? A human resources yes. manager has a rewarding job. Very good, very good sentence. Let me see. Sure. Yes. Engineer electric job is dangerous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, engineer electric has uh, important. Okay. An electric engineer's job is dangerous. Very good. <laughs> yeah, for you, my God. Yeah, that is that is very, very, very dangerous, right? But a, an electric engineer has an important job, definitely. And let me see one more example. What about a teacher? How do you consider the job of a teacher? It's very demanding. A demanding job. A teacher job is amazing. A teacher's job is amazing. I love my job. It's very nice. A teacher's job is amazing. Yeah. The best part of everything is all the people that you know. Yo creo que la mejor parte de este trabajo es toda la gente que uno conoce. Yes. It is fantastic. I think I, I, I have met, I have, <laughs> when I am in the supermarket, it's like, teacher, no vemos. And I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, in, in some cases, it is difficult maybe to remember the names or something, but you remember the faces, right? And you know, you know the person. I, I remember the names. I am very good at that. <laughs> so, yeah, but in on the street, right? It's like teach it. And it was like, bye. <laughs> it, it is very curious. And that it's a it's a very rewarding job. So here you have the examples, right? And I send you the examples on the chat. But you can use the two forms with the, the verb to be and also when you use have or has. And in this one, we have some examples, right? We have some examples about different professions and occupations. What we are going to do is that we are going to transform the sentences. If it is with possessive, we are going to transform it to has. And if it is with has, we are going to transform this one into a possessive. A musician's job is interesting. A musician has an interesting job. That is the first one. What about the second one? An athlete's job is exciting. How can you transform that one? An athlete. An athlete. An exciting job. An exciting job. An athlete. An exciting job. Say athlete. Athlete. An athlete. An athlete. An athlete. An athlete has an exciting job. An exciting job, very good. A lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. A lawyer has a stressful job. A security guard has a boring job. A security guard. 
security guards. Glory. Uh, uh, security guards. Uh, security boring, guards yeah. job is boring. Very good because you have it with has. So we need to use the possessive. A security guard's job is boring. Okay, a security guard's job is boring. No ocupamos. Has. Que la, eh, en security, security words. ¿Cómo se dice guardián? Guards. Guards. Eh, ¿Dónde se le agrega la S? Guards. Ok, a security. Guards. And in this case, you have the D, apostrophe S. Ok. A security guard's job, right? A security guard's job is, and you have there, boring is boring. A boring, yeah. Okay, here, here, here. You, you don't use has and you don't uh, you don't use a. A security guard's job is boring. Is boring. Is boring. no ponemos is a boring. No. A security guard's job is boring. In this case, when you say a musician has an interesting job, aquí sí ocupamos a y an. Pero no ocupamos eh, eso cuando ya lo hacemos con eh, the possessives. A photographer has a difficult job. A photographer's job. Photographer job is difficult. Very good. A photographer's job is difficult. A police officer has a dangerous job. A police officer is dangerous. A police officer's job is dangerous. Now, here I have on this same uh, page, let me just erase this one. Very good. Hey, hey, hey. Se me quedó pegado aquí la text. Here I go. Again, come on. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I, I cannot change it. Well, let me just stop this one. <laughs> I continue writing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my computer. Here. I have some examples here. I have boring musician, easy, what type of profession are you going to use with easy? Give me one profession. Give me one profession, any profession. Manager. 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 Give me another profession. Police officers. Police officer. Police officer. Give me another profession. Salvavida. <laughs> a lifeguard. <laughs> lifeguard. A lifeguard. Another okay, one. Lifeguard. Yeah. A doctor. 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 And another one. Barma. The barma. <laughs> Batman. I know Barma. No, no, Barma. <laughs> now I need you, please, to create the sentences. Go ahead. <laughs> Ahí tienen las oraciones. Escojan una y hagan la oración. Everything is ha 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 until you have to make the sentence. It's like, oh, teacher, come on. Just like, go ahead. A musician has a boring job. A musician has a boring job. Good. A musician has a boring job. Another a, sentence. A doctor's job is difficult. A doctor's job is difficult. Very good. Another one. A manager's job is uh, easy. Okay. A manager's job is easy. Is easy. A manager's job is easy. Another one. A barman's job is uh, stressful. Okay. And the last one. Lifeguard. Lifeguard. A lifeguard's job. Lifeguard job. A lifeguard is job. Exciting. It's exciting. Good. It's now exciting. I need uh, the sentences exciting. with has. 
Okay. A lifeguard. A lifeguard. Okay, exciting, no, exciting. Exciting. Okay, let's exciting. do the first one. Let's do the first one. With has. A musician, a musician has, has a body job. job. Very good. Manager. With manager. Has, manager. Has. Manager uh, has a manager job. Okay, a manager has an easy, an easy job. Porque comienza con vocal, an easy job. Okay, an easy job. Number three. Police officer. Officer has a dangerous job. Very good. Number four. A live work, a live work, a exciting job. Number five, an exciting job. Number five, a doctor has a difficult job. A doctor has a difficult job. And the last one, a barber has a stressful job. A barman has an stressful job. A barman has a stressful job. Very good. Very good job. Excellent, my dear students. Very good job. Now, here we are going to finish the night in these three minutes that we are missing by practicing a little bit of reading. Okay? Vamos a practicar un poquito de lectura para que eh, siempre vayamos mejorando en esa parte. We are going to ask. Eh, um, let me see. I am going to open everybody's here, everybody's cameras. And I need Gustavo to tell me one number from one to ten. Five. Five. Veamos en la lista de participantes de esta sesión. ¿Quién es el número cinco? ¿Quién es el quinto participante que me sale? Eh, Angelica is number one, Elmer is number two, Gustavo is number three, Marvin is number four, Gerard Alfaro is number five. So Gerard Alfaro is going to be reading the first one, okay? Lisa Parker, go ahead, Gerard. Lisa Parker has to job. She works as a waitress at night, but she is really an actress. During the day, she auditioned for plays and the television shows. Her uh, schedule is difficult and she is tired a lot, but she is following her dream. Very nice. Very good, right? Uh, the only thing that we say, like she auditions, it's good. Uh, the pronunciation is waitress. Waitress, waitress at night at night waitress at waitress night, at waitress. night. Waitress. mr waitress. gerard who is going to read number two escojalo usted quien lee el segundo okay <laughs> the video game elmer. tester elmer rivera elmer go ahead Action. Okay, a uh, lot of teen, teen teenagers, teenagers uh -huh. want John Blue's job. He plays video game for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it, is it ever, ever boring? Never John almost always win. Okay, it says, lots of teenagers want John's blues job. He okay. plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Uh, okay. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. When okay. you read, you need to respect pronunciation, right? You need to respect punctuation. Siempre tenemos que respetar las pausas y las puntuaciones. Aquí tenemos una primera pausa de puntuación. 
Aquí tenemos otra pausa de puntuación. Aquí tenemos un exclamation mark. Hacemos una pausa. Aquí tenemos otra pausa de puntuación. Aquí tenemos la pregunta. Puntuación. Y final. So you say, lots of teenagers want young blues job. You stop. He plays video games for eight hours a day. You stop. And he gets paid for it. Si tenemos una exclamación, tenemos que admirarnos por eso. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Paramos. Is it ever boring? Porque es pregunta. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Right? You have to respect punctuation. So, what are we going to do? I am going to send you this one. I am going to send you this reading, these two readings, right? We have two readings here. And I am going to send you the audios. I need you to choose one of them and to send me the audio, okay? Se lo voy a enviar a WhatsApp y le voy a enviar los dos audios. Ustedes escogen cuál de los dos leer. Y van a enviar el audio de esa lectura al WhatsApp, okay? Okay. So you can practice pronunciation, intonation, fluency, and everything. In the group, teacher. Yes, it's going okay. to be in the group. Ahí le voy a enviar okay. los dos ejemplos. Okay. So, y ahí mismo have, lo respondemos. Yes. You are going okay. to respond in the group. You can have... Right the, no, no, no. Tomorrow for you to practice, no. practice, practice, okay. practice, and you send it to me. Si no a las dos de la mañana y... Y eso va. El grupo, el grupo. Ah. No. Tomorrow. Tomorrow in the day, right? Not tonight. Right? Yeah, yeah, I would be like, no, 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 right? <laughs> <laughs> you would be like, ah, ¿quién te escribe a las 3 de la mañana? <laughs> the, the group, the group, you say. <laughs> ah, my classmate, you say. The teacher, imagine, it would be like, I, I don't do it. I don't do it. It's, it's no, it's on the okay. <laughs> it will be like, no, okay, no. So, uh, you have to do that. <laughs> you have to do that for tomorrow, okay?